Hey guys, so in this video, I want to show you this incredible tool that I've been using a lot lately. And the reason why I want to share it with you is if you're selling any products that rely heavily on the design itself, whether it's in the digital product category or the print on demand category, I believe this tool will be really helpful for you. So here's how we'll structure this video. First, I'm going to go over what Kittle is and just do a quick breakdown on everything that it offers and what you can do with it. Second is I'll give you ideas and examples of best-selling products that's been proven to sell well on Etsy and how we can use it as inspirations to create our own versions of it. Even if the application of the product itself is not in your category, you can still learn a lot about the thought process behind this approach and how it's a proven system to have a successful shop on Etsy. All right, so let's get into the video. Welcome back. So Keto is a design software tool where you can use to create any kind of designs you want from here, use it for personal use, or you can use it for commercial use, which I'll explain later on about the licensing and the pricing. But I know I mentioned a lot about other design softwares out there, but this one has a crazy engine behind it. And I'll show you how easy it is to actually create these designs in seconds. So just some categories on the top here, you can do your logos. Like actually if you're starting a new shop, this is a great place to create logos from. Labels might not apply to you as much, but you can use this for different printables if you want. And t-shirts, this is great for any print on demand products, not just for t-shirts, but you can do for hoodies, you can do for bags, you can do for mugs, posters, right? Even here, there's one specifically for posters. You can do cards, uh, printables, like wedding niche. Actually, that's something I was gonna talk about later on, but I guess I just said it. But uh, different printable cards you can use for this. And social media, if you're wanting to create a cohesive branding, through that, you can definitely create templates from here. But within all of these categories, there's a lot more going on inside and I'm gonna show you more in this video. So let's just jump right in. I'm gonna show you the first example on how you can apply this to your own store and get different ideas, okay? The first thing, I found this listing that's a bestseller. They sell hoodies. But like I said, again, you can apply this to any other category you're in. Let's use Everbee and figure out how much it actually makes. So we come over here and we click on analytics. And if you haven't used Everbee before, I've talked a lot about my other videos, but you can try it out in the link below and it helps you just gain some more data on different listings. So let's go over here. This has only been up for seven months and the estimated revenue is like almost 12,000 for one listing. Okay. So hands down, we already know that this is a good one to tap into. So now how do we get inspired by this and how can we use this for ourselves? And just to note that this is a personalized items and personalized items are one of the more lucrative ones for sure, other than pre-made designs. The only downside is you do need to manually create new design for people every time you get an order. But I want to say if you're making $13,000 a month from this, I don't mind creating a new name or a new custom text for someone to put on a hoodie or anything like that. Okay. So let's hop back onto Keto and see what we can do. Let's see what kind of selections that they offer here and how we can implement it. I'm going to go over here on a search and let's type in typography and let's press enter. All right, so coming down here, there's a lot of different selections on different texts we can do. And what jumps out to me right now is this one. Like I didn't even scroll down that much, but I found one that I think could do really well. So it's still in the same similar design as this one, right? Kind of wavy style. It's not the exact same one, but we're getting inspired by, right? Maybe we can change the different colors of each of the letters, create something similar like this. But I believe this is a great start. And like I said, I haven't really gone through everything, but let's just jump right into this one and see how we can use it. So here, let's click on use this design. All right, so once it's loaded here, this is the interface for Keto for when you're designing products, okay? What's really cool about this is if you're familiar with like Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, you understand how the layers work. This background is white and checkered. That means if you export this, it will be a transparent background where you can easily implement this on print-on-demand products or digital products. Because a lot of times we don't really want to create the whole border around it. In my opinion, and just seeing what sells out there, we don't do that stuff, right? We just want to export this in a transparent background so we can just get the text. Now you can place it on any different color products and it'll look amazing. And but just for visibility's sake for this video, I'm going to turn this back on. And let's edit this. So coming back here, it says your custom text here. So let's see how we can change the text here. And honestly, you're going to be blown away by this. Like I'm just going <laughs> to, I can literally do this in five seconds. Just click on the first text up here, double click it, and let's change this to your. And right when you click out of it, it will automatically snap back into the shape. That, that's crazy. And the second word is custom. So let's double click on this, change this to custom, click on the side, and there you go. And this one I believe is the word text, let's change that to text. And this one is here. Okay. 
And there you go, your custom text here. If we want to change it a little bit more and create the colors, let's come back here and just do that. Yeah, that's just a very simple way on how you can remix a certain proven product and use your own style. So that was just one idea for this specific example. But even if you use this one, the Summer Surf Club, you can easily change that to any custom text or even not custom if you don't want to, right? You do something like this. You can change the graphics up here. Instead of cupcakes, you can do anything you want or just delete these and just use this part as a custom text. So I'll show you exactly how to do that right now. Click on use this design. We're in the editor for this one. You can just click on them and click on backspace or delete. And that's that. If you want to delete this data as well, you can do that. And pretty much you can leave it something like this. In your listing, you can say, create a custom text for the top here. And also create a custom text for this part. And just like that, you create another variation of a personalized text product for your digital or your print on demand. And this, since this is a B, I might as well just change my name <laughs> to show you how this will look. Put in my name, Brandon. Right, let's click away and see how it looks. So this size, since my name is a lot longer, we'll need to change the text. So, so let's go over to the right here. And this is the text part. Maybe this changes to 300. Brando. I mean, see when I was growing up, people, they call me Brando. But let's not do that now. This changes to 240. Cool. Brandon and Sons. Maybe I'll just, I can just change this to, might as well just do my middle name as well. Brandon Timothy. Let's change the text. Let's do the same. So just like that, I got myself a cake and gelato business. Yeah, very cool. All right. So the next category I want to show you, this is a more printable digital product. And this is in the wedding space. And, I, and I've been talking about this wedding category for a while now. Like it's crazy. So here's another bestseller. Let's, just, let's see the stats on this as well. Go to Everbee, click on analytics. And let's see here. 51 reviews, eight months ago, the listing age. And just also a little bit over $2,000, which is amazing for one product. So a lot of people I've been talking to lately are asking me, Hey, I want to find listings that are doing $10,000, $15,000, right? Those are all the ones that people are trying to reach at. But what I've been telling a lot of people lately are, oh, it's just to go for the 500, the thousand dollar listings. Cause if you think about it this way, if you have 10 listings, each doing a thousand dollars, that's $10,000. And for the most part, if, or you can have 20 listings all doing $500 a month, that's $10,000 as well, right? So, Yes, you want to try to aim for these big hitters, but there's nothing wrong with just calling a bunch of smaller ones, all doing $200 here, $300 here, 400, and they all add up in a month. All right, so let's come back here and let's go to the cards section. So this is going to show you all different categories in the card section. So we can search here, search wedding, or you can look through the tabs here and get different ideas of what you can do. So let's just click on weddings and same thing right off the bat, there's incredible designs you can start using. And just something else I want to note is over here, you're sorting it by trending, but you can also sort by recent. So it means you're getting the most updated prints so that you know one else is using these. And, but I generally like to just use the trending ones. And let's say if you like this design right here, you click into it. You can also click into the creator as well. And from here, you can follow them from Keto and just see all the different other designs that they make, which is pretty cool which I'll show you later on in the video about different resources and different things you can do with Kettle. But yeah, I won't do the whole design process again since I already showed it to you later. So I'm going to jump into the last idea. All right, so this is another really cool one. These are logos that you can sell on Etsy. And if we click on the analytics again for Everbee, let's take a look. This one's been on for a little bit longer over here and it's doing almost $7,000 a month. Like it's insane. Same thing. These are all custom or personalized listings. But like I said, if you're doing $7,000 a month, I don't mind changing a name out in Keto and just to deliver it to the customer. Okay. So let's come back into Keto and see what we can find. Click on logos. So there's a lot of different types of logos here, but I want to see more minimalistic style logos since those are more or less the trending style logos these days. So here you got something like this. These are cool. These ones are pretty sweet as well. And you just come here, explore. So what you would do is you can pretty much save these, maybe change it a little bit, change the name. If you can compile them into a list, like how this listing has done it, showing all different examples of what you can offer. But yeah, I think this is super cool. Hope you're learning quite a bit from this platform. And I definitely recommend checking it out. Since I'm not even showing you all the different capabilities you can do as well, other than these three categories. There's a lot more you can do with this. And you know, one category that's super cool as well are the posters is which is something I talk a lot about in my videos selling wall art. So this is a cool one to check out as well. 
So if you're enjoying us so far, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have not already, if you want to learn more about how to sell on Etsy and how to be successful on it, so make sure to subscribe if you have not. All right, so I want to quickly go over the licensing on so things you can do with it and things you cannot. Right here, you can use it for personal and commercial uses, but the designs for it has to be end product only, okay? Which means that you cannot just share someone these links and let them customize it yourself. Because basically, you're pretty much just stealing the business from Kettle if you're sharing the links. You can use the designs as the rasterized items, which means you're flattening it and putting it on different end products. And this is kind of this part, you can use these designs for multiple clients and multiple projects, which relates to what we're talking about in this video. And some of the ones you cannot do is to resell or offer these designs as the digital stock. So you cannot just click one of these items and just sell it as is as the digital versions and letting people use it as templates, because that's pretty much what Kettle is about. So those are the only things you cannot do with these. Uh, definitely read over this if you were interested in using this. Let's quickly go over the plans. So there is a free version to start, which is incredible. And you can use the link below in the description. Here you get to export the low res image files, work up to 10 projects, and you can still use this for commercial use, but you just need to include the attribution to do so. But yeah, the plan that I'm on is the expert one, which gives me access to all of the premium templates, which is amazing. But honestly, just start with the free and see how you like it. But I think once you create some cool designs, this is a really good investment for your Etsy shop and your, and your different e-commerce businesses. I like definitely highly recommend this. And you can check it out in the link below. Again, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned some stuff, learned a different thought process on how you can approach certain designs, how you can be inspired by different winning products, how to remix it and create your own, but not copying it, but just remixing, right? And hopefully making a better product from it. Like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to answer that for you. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.